What's up, guys? It's your boy, Rigel. It's your boy, Marius Royce. Welcome back to another episode of the Chopping It Up podcast. As you can see to my left. To my right. We got a special guest for you. Welcome to Cheska. Welcome to Cheska. She did the label. Cheska Vic. Welcome to Cheska. She like, like, Tori's like, Lost, long lost sister or something. Who? Like Victorious. Yeah. Oh, Tori, Tori, Tori Vega. Tori, Tori Vega. Vega. Yeah. I got you. Come on, Jessica. Mm-hmm. Vega. Come on. Mm-hmm. Come on mm-hmm. 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 Just went over your head. Talk your shit, Jessica. Hi. That's it. That's it. Talk your shit. Hi. I'm sorry. So tell us a little bit about yourself, Hi. maybe. That's it. That's what you can start with. Mm-hmm. My name is Jessica Vega. Yeah. That's Hi. Right. Um, hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to be here. Yeah. Honestly, thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah. yeah um, right. It's nice to see you all. Yeah. It's, it's been, been a while. It's been a while. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's been a while. while. Like, I don't remember the last time I, I don't remember the last time I saw you. Oh my probably god. Last probably like, like a a pre-quarantine. Well, like <laughs> pre-quarantine. <laughs> Studio Nora. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. you were taking class for a bit. I taking know. my really heels. Not not taking, I, oh yeah, class. I was. Yeah, <laughs> probably class. Like a couple months ago. I haven't been. I haven't been a fucking. I haven't been to the studio in a while. She just got back to dancing. I just got back to it. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it's so fun. Honestly. Yeah. 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 Fridays heels class. Fridays heels. Is that all the class you take? Matt and Joyce's. Wednesday, right? Don't they have a thing? Oh no, it's Abby's. I used to take Abby's, but Abby. Um, she leveled up. Yeah, 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 yeah. She leveled up. But um, and also Mondays, I usually I used to take it with uh, Rigel. Joyce's, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, yeah, Joyce's, and mm. now Merrick's. That's sweet. Yeah, it's fun. But yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah. Um, a little bit about myself. Yeah, we have, we have <laughs> hold on, hold on. Pull, pull the mic a little bit closer to you right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Right yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect. Okay, that's good. That's good. Yeah, that's sorry, perfect. Sorry, yeah. sorry. A little too far away. Is this some like ASMR? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, hopefully it's still able to eat. <laughs> yeah, you can, yeah, you can get so. Just like don't, don't like, don't like chew in, in the mic. Yeah, just like don't be like. Unless you guys are into that. Yeah, like, <laughs> ASMR. Let us know. We're not. We're not gonna, gonna do that. Next time, maybe we're not gonna do that. I'm sure there's lots of ASMRs out there that are like of that. Like oh, ASMR yeah, podcasts. I probably watched a couple Jeez. videos about yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah, got like, look, yeah, yeah, that reminds yeah, me. Have you seen that? Oh my god, <laughs> the chopsticks. Yeah. And then they they take like whatever they're eating. And then oh yeah, you have you seen it. the drinking ones where they have like chia seeds and shit inside of it, and they just chug <laughs> it for like? And go, Ooh. It just sounds like that for like a whole minute, bro. <laughs> my I think my first uh, experience <laughs> with a- ASMR video is that really old YouTube video of like Luigi's like barber. Have you heard about that? No. Have like, you ever searched it up on YouTube? It's no. like a Luigi's barber. Sh- first, like shit. you put it in your ears. Okay. And then the sound like. Oh, it actually sounds like you're getting haircut, bro. Oh, <laughs> I was crazy. really thinking about Mario. That All right, time. oh, back, back to Jessica. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell us about, no, tell us about yourself. Okay. What, you, what, you, what <laughs> your endeavors, your your ventures, you know? Oh my God. What you into? I see you on TikTok with uh, Joy Box. Mm. Oh yeah, that's oh, right, yeah. that's right. Yes. Um. Yeah. No, that was that was a cool experiment. <laughs> um. You don't want to do it again. No, I would love to. Okay. You made it sound like you didn't want to do it again. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to. I I, I was just like thinking about it Mm. while I was saying it. But Mm. no, that was really fun, actually. I got to do like a blind date. Actually, no. I had a video that went viral and I didn't expect it to go viral. I was like um, one of the TikToks where I had to touch. I'm like blindfolded. I had Mm. to touch someone whoever it was and it was all guys mm-hmm. and then um uh yeah i was just touching people's you know chest hands Jeez. everything while i was blindfolded <laughs> um and i didn't expect that to go viral at all i didn't want it to go viral yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um yeah and it did and it got like i don't know how many hits but Throwing it back. Throwing it back. How many hits again? How many hits? Gen Z. Oops. Um, even though I am Gen Z. I guess so. But um, building off, we saw like even at work, I think we were looking at credit cards. And then oh yeah, you're on, you're on the like the Mogo yeah. like oh yeah. shit advertisement she's, she's or some shit. She's in a lot Mogo of like different types of advertising. Yeah, no, that. that was cool. My friend was just hit me up. He was like, hey, do you wanna? 
um, do a photo shoot with me? I was like, why not? And then, um, yeah, he was like, okay, you just have to hold this. I'm like, cool, whatever. So are you like under an agency right now? At the moment, um, I actually have with, um, it's a good friend of mine's agency. Mm -hmm. And um, it's called Bad Angels Only Agency. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it's for like influencers. And and, uh, actually, (laughs) I don't know if this content is allowed but right. um it's also for only fans Jeez. Like okay mm-hmm. so that um it's to provide safety and security uh, for girls on only i love fans. that oh yeah. that's that yeah. that's dope, oh, wow. that's dope. Okay. i didn't think yeah. i respect that yeah you I know because like, you wouldn't think an agency would handle that yeah that thing yeah exactly you gotta you, some, oh, that would make like, take care of take care of people yeah that's sick your um, model is actually sick yeah yeah yeah. i didn't know that was a thing at all i i assume the first one in Vancouver or Canada, I believe. Mm, like yeah. that. Um, that agency. So yeah. it's pretty cool. Um, we're just, you know, how the community is not really that progressive about it. So yeah. We're trying to slowly build our way in, um, which is pretty cool, though. People make bank, yeah. like, people make bank on OnlyFans, bro. Yeah, yeah you make know, in stup- LA, stupid there's an um, uh, agency called Unruly. Um, and Sounds like I DMX. think that's what it is. I'm not <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> Fact check me on that. Yeah, I'm not yeah, sure yeah. if that's what it actually is called. But um, yeah, uh, it's it's a big OnlyFans agency. God, they damn. make a lot of money. Bro, you make super amount of money. I, you know the the girl that's in like David Dobrik's like vlogs, Karina. Name's like Karina Kopf. Oh okay, uh, yes, okay, yes, yes, bro. Yes. Her else. first day of like <laughs> <laughs> starting her OnlyFans, she made like like 10 million in a day. Oh. Wow. I heard the same thing in about day, like bad, bad baby in a day, bro. That's fucking crazy. I'll sell my ass for like a million dollars, bro. Type shit, bro. <laughs> By all means. <laughs> By all <laughs> means. <laughs> NFT won't ask for it. Hey, <laughs> By all like means, totally bro. Like snap feet pics, but yeah. I, just, I don't know where who to send it to. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta <laughs> find the weird. Niche. You gotta find the weird people that like. You gotta, yeah. in, gotta hop into a like a foot talent agency. <laughs> <laughs> foot Maybe model type shit, like, bro. <laughs> Exactly. Let's, we're in this together, guys. Our feet are safe. Like. Exactly. <laughs> I'm just thinking about like the group meetings in the morning. All right, guys, we're gonna keep all these feet safe. All those feet. Hey, man, that's like free Be pedicure, careful, manicure, yeah. whatever. You fucking. Know what? No face, no case. That's facts. Yeah. No face, no case. Yeah, that's not my. That sound like a bar, bro. Just don't have like tattoos on your feet so that it's not noticeable. Uh, Brought my favorite movies. Yeah, that's the crazy. Mm. Bro, as we I you, did. Did. you did? Oh my gosh. I, I never meet anybody who watches Game of Thrones, so that's why. Mm. Game of Thrones is weird. Yeah. Alright, it's knock out this drink, Mary's. I know you like to read Oh yeah, though. yeah, yeah, of course. So <laughs> always. I picked this up um like a bit ago. A bit ago. It's called Tempo Gin Smash. Uh flavors are strawberry lemon. Hmm. And I can't even read this fucking print right here. <laughs> but it's this Vancouver. Is handwriting, bro. Vancouver dry gin. Yeah. It looks good. There's also a mango peach flavor. So if you guys are interested, strawberry lemon, tempo. It's a GNT, basically. Mm. What's a GNT? Just with a little extra flavor. Gin and tonic. Oh, okay, okay. Gin and tonic with a little whatever sauce. <laughs> yeah, it's a little GNT. A little filler. You feel? Mm. I feel. Cheska's not drinking. Sorry. She doesn't water. drink. I don't drink. I'm Dang. allergic. It's a thing. Pepsi <laughs> doesn't work. No. <laughs> so, like, do you. Do so you get, is, your, is your, like, allergy pretty bad? Or not? Nah? Um, yeah, it's really bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't nice. want to experience it ever again. It's like really. <laughs> it's what? Really. It's really. Yeah. It's, re- it's really like. Huh? That's yeah. Good. Like a little. Oh, that shit. Um, That's nice. Yeah, no, sorry. I will explain more. My allergy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, I get rashes. Uh, I, you know, have that Asian glow. Yeah. Mm. Everybody talks about, but it's a lot more than that. Like it's rashes, like hyperventilating, and Ooh. like oh, so you're headache. dummy allergic. <laughs> so oh, you're yeah. dummy, yeah. dummy, oh, this shit dummy for yeah. you, yeah. eh? Like, you will like, You wouldn't even like, be, able to to hmm? you, you be able to handle this. You wouldn't be able to handle this. You'll find she dummy I don't has know it, bro. Exactly, but mm. I mean, yeah, I don't know exactly. Yeah, but okay. you know. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not gonna try it out because yeah, 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 I don't want to experience yeah, yeah. that. So talking about OnlyFans. So like, <laughs> bring back to only right. this guy. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. So like, so like, no, repeat this, right? So like, so like, say, like, say, like, say, yeah. So say, like, you started an OnlyFans, right? 
Okay. Just say, just say you started. How would you like tell your parents about that? Ooh. Or if they found <laughs> it, and then you just had to, you know, um, knock it out the park. I feel like my my mom would be like very open about it. Like she, really? she would be the type to be like, "Oh my god, I can't believe you did that." But mm. is she younger? Be like, just be safe, you know. Kind of, huh? No, she's actually she's older. She's in the old. She's a boomer. Jeez. Um, and Booming. but she's like progressing. <laughs> she's trying to, you know. She's yeah, but really times cool. you never. That's rare. That. You never hear really about that. Yeah, yeah. she's trying. Parents, she's so. trying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some, Like sometimes it comes out, but you know, we try to tell her, hey, like this isn't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> parents are all like, nah, no OnlyFans until you start paying their bills. Like, ah, like now that. you're making millions. Okay, sell your shit. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're famous. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, you want hey. this lingerie set for your next shoot? Give you all, all of a sudden, links. all support. <laughs> you get group chats with yeah. all the links. <laughs> Shoes, we need. Yeah. All of a sudden, sharing on the Facebook. My daughter has only pants. <laughs> support, yeah, support. Support. Yeah. support, support. Support, support. Yeah. Subscribe. Yeah. Everyone, subscribe. <laughs> comment. Comment, comment. First, first month is free. Oh it's on God. me. <laughs> <laughs> Promotion. I'm just, I'm just picturing my mom posting it on her Wall. Promo code Tito Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Tito Boy is fifty percent off. 50%. Yeah, no, that's a, mm. and everything <laughs> on there is also fifty percent off. Fifty percent. Never, <laughs> never <laughs> go on Facebook, honestly. That's true. Everything will be on Facebook. Yeah, some some Filipino parents just be sharing too much. Like yeah. saying they'd be like, "Oh, let's let's take a picture," and then all of a sudden it's on Facebook two minutes later. Like, bro, why'd you post <laughs> that? that? Like, I look bummy in this. Yeah, sure. Like, I swear, all the pictures that my parents take pictures of me, I'm, pictures. I'm like ugly as fuck, yeah, bro. Yeah. Like halfway eaten, bro. Like yeah. <laughs> I, I love the ones where they just keep taking pictures, not even like 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 fully in focus. Oh, and yeah. they'll keep it in the whole album when they post it on the <laughs> Facebook. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Scrolling, That's a blurry, classic. That's a classic. Bro, I remember going through like photo albums and it's just like a bunch of blurry photos <laughs> and then the clear one. They kept it because it's so expensive to print it's them like, back then. Bro. Shit, the whole experience is here, guys. Like. <laughs> We're having so much fun removing. <laughs> We're moving. <laughs> 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 stop motion. <laughs> oh yeah, flip, 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 flip album. <laughs> Oh Yo, Shit. that'd be so entertaining. Like, you know what I mean? Like, cause you, when you're flipping Shut a fucking down. photo book, yeah. it's like boring. Like, ah, oh, damn, this picture, this picture, that picture. But if you got a flip book, it's like, oh shit, damn, that happened. Like, it's like moving at you. <laughs> Yo, you ever have the pictures where you're in the sink taking a bath? And some parents trying to wash them. Oh of course, God, yeah. of course. Why you, say, why you say it real low? Like you got Cabo. real insecure about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bro, you really gotta hide it. He gotta hide. He's like, he's bro, like, yeah. Did you ever get those pictures on him? <laughs> he's really worried about like bro. if anybody would like agree with him. So, yeah, is, yeah, no, is saying, it, saying, do you guys yeah, relate to this like this thing that like I don't know if you guys relate to like? Oh, my bad. But, I remember <laughs> going through my album. It's like back to back, <laughs> same shot. <laughs> Two pages, <laughs> two pages of just different angles. Different of angles that classic. moment. That's a classic, right. bro. Really? See the front view, side view, <laughs> above view. This is how you wash an ass, bro. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I just get off it, man. Bro, I cried, bro. Uh, oh. Anyway, so OnlyFans. Okay. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. 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 You know, like, just like, oh, you're there? Yeah, 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 yeah. Gotta go That's around mindless. This. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you're there? Be mindful. Like, it's like you're at the club. More control. Like, I see you. I understand you. You're valid, bro. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'll go around this time, you know? <laughs> oh, by the way, I know this is a couple weeks in advance, What's but up? the uh, the debate between who fixes their bed and does not fix their bed. Oh yeah, yeah, the 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 bed makers won. Oh my god! Yeah, I am a big bed maker. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. As soon as I get up, yeah. I have to make my bed. Mm. Yeah, I actually built yeah. that habit like recently. Recently. Yeah. yeah. So respect <laughs> that even more. Jeez. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I brought brought that up because it shows that in our in our um episodes that we don't always agree with each other. Mm. Um. And. 
usually for us we communicating with our like obviously our own friend group mm-hmm. it's a lot easier when you know the person and you've developed some sort of relationship with them to understand like how to talk to because yeah. i mean that episode we talked about yeah. uh, how you royce knows how to pick up mirrors uh, my question for you boys and also for Cheska, obviously is have you ever not been able to resolve something with someone due to like a communication error mm. do you know what i mean Hmm. I don't know. Loaded. That usually happens with me and like, um, my cousin sometimes. Mm. Um, you guys don't communicate well. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, no, no. That only happened once. Mm. That only happened once. Um, but um, I'm a big communicator. I think I would say maybe when I had my first couple relationships Mm. Mm. um that's when i was like learning you know Mm because i was just getting to experience um falling in love and all that Mm -hmm. whatever Mm. love was Mm -hmm. Mm. back in Mm. (laughs) fuck love (laughs) (laughs) just kidding don't you have hey (laughs) i peeped that last time yeah i'm just kidding last episode (laughs) (laughs) um but yeah no it's just uh what was I saying? <laughs> In terms of like you're not being able to communicate with your cousins because you guys um oh yeah yeah, yeah. no that only happened once though but um we talked it out and everything's all good mm. we're mm. like sisters you know mm. but um yeah no that's definitely happened before mm. when I was younger you know mm. we all learn <laughs> as we grow mm-hmm. yeah um, what are you guys? But now I'm like a big communicator. Like oh. I can't, I can't handle it when someone doesn't say anything to me and there's something wrong. Mm. Yeah. And I'm just like, okay, like I can't handle being in this uncomfortable um, situation or like environment. So you know. So you're more like conf- confrontational then. Yeah. yeah. Now yeah. I am. Yeah. Now I am. Like you gotta know what you want. Kind exactly. Of yeah. I'm like, I don't wanna. You, I don't wanna go home and be. Um, feeling some sort of guilt or whatever. Yeah. You, know? mm. when you, like, just you can't. You can't let problems go unresolved. Yeah, exactly. Or it's just gonna be in my head all day mm. or all night. Mm. Yeah, 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 so yeah. I was like, Ugh, I'd rather sleep peacefully and know that there was a resolution to whatever the problem was mm-hmm. than, um, yeah, go away. <laughs> Respect that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> looking at me like that, bro. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> So we're talking about <laughs> communication. <laughs> He's um, like, looking at me. <laughs> 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 you guys good? Yeah, good. <laughs> okay. So talking about communication. Like we posted up a story um, yesterday, but like, yeah, for you guys. But um, yeah, basically asking like, <laughs> what are the struggles of communication? Like, what do you find difficult and stuff? A lot of people said a lot of different things. So mm. shout out to Jenna. Samantha Bajamunde, I don't know how you say it. <laughs> Shout out to Correct you. me, please. And Samantha Rose, Angelica, and Kevin. Mm. So shout out to y'all for answering the question. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Gave us a lot to talk about. Um, a lot. Something that was like brought up a lot was um, like the listening versus understanding mm. part of like your communication. Yeah. So okay. like, <clears throat> it's all good. And like. It's like they're saying how like it's easy to like like bring up an idea or say an idea, but it's like harder to get people to listen to you or understand yeah. you mm-hmm. and vice yeah. versa. Like, mm-hmm. you know, so. Yeah. Mm. What do you think about well, <clears throat> man. Well, like, honestly, with that shit, like when like handling this podcast and stuff like that. We communicate a lot, right? Yeah. Mm. But then that's but like when we don't communicate, that's when I get choked about mm. the lack of communication because it's not organized, right? Oh mm. my gosh, how do you guys do that? Like you know, working together. Do you ever have any <clears throat> conflicts? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah all the time, and it's usually me because like I'm a hothead. <laughs> like and like and just the way that I am, like I want everything like done on a certain timeline. So if yeah. something's yeah. late, I get choked. Like if something's not done when it needs to be done, then I'll get mad, right? Yeah. 
but like these guys have been doing a lot better with like the organizational aspect but like before like that's when i was like all right like y'all need to like step up some shit and then we got to get some shit done because yeah. like you know like i'm not doing this by myself we're doing it all together yeah, you know yeah. what i'm saying yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and honestly just getting that across it, like it helps both sides of the party yeah, you know 100%. and then if they do like actively listen and they do things to like help themselves like work on it better then yeah. everything will get done faster you know what i'm saying yeah, and then yeah, everyone's yeah. gonna be on the same track yeah yeah i feel that i just hate like like when when i think that part like why people brought that up like listening versus understanding mm-hmm. is because like you know usually like you want people whoever you're talking to to like be engaged with you right mm-hmm. and like like i guess like validate you afterwards like actually understand you yeah so that like whatever you say is like <clears throat> oh yeah like you know what i mean like they're actually listening understanding. yeah no no no. i think the first thing i think about like when that question came up is like you know when you're in a yelling match with somebody mm-hmm. mm. and you guys are just both just, like you guys not just yelling at like random shit yelling. bro oh right you guys just roasting Trying each other whatever blah, blah 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 you guys are like yelling at two walls like he's yelling at a wall you're yelling at a wall yeah, like yeah. nothing's getting across yeah like if Raj is all listening yeah exactly like if two people are yelling at each other where's the listening at right yeah, you know yeah, what i'm saying yeah. like that shit happens all the time yeah. you know yeah. um in terms i'll give a different perspective in terms of like receiving that like when someone is being communicated to mm. um and i i will admit you know i've even even here like i'm always still learning right and um when obviously we all get choked a little bit it's like dang he's coming at me but and it's a criticism criticism towards me but i think that it's important that because we understand what we need to grow in our own personal lives it's kind of like you can reflect on yourself and be like more understanding that hey this isn't necessarily to attack you but it's to help better you and, and like yeah, bro. everyone some else. people take like criticism and like just like communication in general mm-hmm. like they take it too like too much to heart you know exactly yeah like people get dummy choked yeah like if i tell Mary's like you know Mary's fix your posture yeah and Mary's all offended like my passion my posture is not bad mm. it's not bad yeah. your posture is bad you know what i'm yeah, saying yeah, like yeah. people people take that shit way too seriously yeah but like it's honestly just to like better yourself you know yeah. it's like it's like saying some shit like oh rajo like if raja came at me like stop vaping it's bad for your health right <laughs> obviously i'm gonna listen to it i don't give a fuck but like, yeah, yeah. i'll keep <laughs> i'll keep vaping yeah but like i'm still listening yeah you know? i know that he cares about me if someone's giving you criticism they care about you mm-hmm. yeah but you just don't get choked about it bro. yeah like yeah. i always bring that back to like times, bro. like schooling and like passions or whatever yeah bro like having teachers mm-hmm. you know what i mean like if your teacher's like oh like you're doing this wrong like you should do it like this will make it easier for you no like you if you listen, you're gonna like progress. That's what I'm saying, bro, like those delinquents. If you in don't, class, then bro, you're just gonna stay where you're at. You know what I mean? Yeah, motherfucking delinquents. Like, yeah, you need to learn how to like handle that. Cause exactly. Without it, then exactly. you're not just not growing. Bro, did you ever get those kids in your class where like they get everything wrong, don't study, whatever? Teachers telling them exactly what to do, how to do it and to pass know. a class, and yeah. then they get choked about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why are you getting like, choked, this is bro? Bullshit. This is trying bullshit. to get trying to get you out of high school, bro. <laughs> 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 trying to get you out of fucking high school, bro. Like. Like, if you just listen and you take the time to learn, like, you will be a better person at the end yeah. of the day. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to see you next year. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want to see you there. That's the only reason why they Move try on, to homie. get you to pass, you know? <laughs> yeah. Honestly. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> uh, no, I, you mentioned listening, right? So, yeah. I want to talk about the, um, the other side, including listening, is being sympathetic while listening. Because uh, everyone can be heard, right? But... Um, like the understanding. the understanding yeah that's the understanding part yeah, it's okay. like it's because you're you're being sympathetic towards whatever the other person is trying to share mm-hmm. you're really the message mm-hmm. to you. well you try to be because some people yeah. are just not good at being sympathetic you know exactly or let's yeah, say like those are people that only think logically mm-hmm. and they don't like take into the fact that there's emotions involved mm-hmm. yeah people who are like empath yeah, empath. I'm, I'm, I'm when you're empathetic, I know him. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I'm a bubble. You feel yeah. how they feel, you know. No, it's no more. Yeah. Yeah, Maris is an empath. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like I'm more like for myself personally, I'm very logical. Like psychopath. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very logical with my thinking. Like it. Sorry, like, crazy, like, no. You're a crazy. Not this. Yeah. Not this. Not this. Like this. Like, <laughs> gears, bro. I'm turning the gear, bro. I'm turning the gear. I'm not winding the clock. You know what I'm saying? Turning the gear. You're a little like this, right? 
I actually have like conflicting sides when it comes to that because I'm both like mm. I'm empathetic, but I'm also very logical mm. when it comes to like problems. Yeah. yeah. So if your homegirl like gets cheated on, you're like, fuck that, like out the door. He was like, he was like, you know, he didn't have a kid. Ain't right. no kid involved. Feel for her, but then, but then you know, like, like, I would tell her like, you need to just like. You, you gotta be better you know? yeah with or without mm-hmm. a relationship you mm-hmm. have to be better yeah and some yeah. people can't take that shit either they bro. can't they, can't. they yeah. can't take even from the yeah. closest yeah. like Especially, i remember i remember when roger told me love. yeah when roger told me some shit and then i just i just told him straight up it wasn't even about like what happened i just basically said like oh like this and this mm-hmm like towards him just so it be able to like come across as like like are you are you secure are you su- mm-hmm. are you supported yeah right uh. like rather than like oh are you okay like how are you feeling whatever yeah, blah, blah, yeah, blah. Yeah. i care more about like how his life is gonna go rather than how he's right oh, now exactly. yeah Jeez. especially because like building off of that you know um it, I, I understand that that's how Royce's way of communicating is, right? Mm. Um, this leads into my next question, but building off of quickly off of Royce, like I knew I would always get like people commenting or messaging me all the stuff that traditionally you need to hear, right? Yeah. But Royce was willing to communicate something that he knew that I needed. You want to say hear. what the situation is up to yeah. you, bro? No, you can say it. And um, well, um, my my dad got diagnosed with uh, stage four colon cancer. And um, he was only projected to only live like maybe a month or so until the end of 2021, and um, and so my our whole my whole family just kind of like uh, kind of preparing and trying to help my dad out as much as he uh, as much as we could. And um, but to speed it all forward, um, I knew I would get a lot of sympathy from a lot of people, but what Royce knew was that he needed to prepare me mentally for a different part of yeah. my life the first thing i t- when roger told me that like the first thing i said to roger was like are you going to be financially stable yeah mm-hmm. with important. the whole family mm-hmm. yeah you know what i'm saying <clears throat> like, you the man of the house now. yeah mm-hmm. like are you are you able to be taking care of the whole family mm-hmm. you know like there's some shit because you gotta expect the worst right exactly. yeah. you know yeah. and then when it comes like people can't take that but it's the truth Mm. Like I'm telling you, as like as it's a hard homie, to accept. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm telling you as a homie, like yo, like if if like God hopes, like he's not gone, right? Mm. But like in in the case it does happen, mm-hmm. I'm like Roger, like are you financially stable? Like how are you gonna afford living? Yeah. How are you gonna afford your three, your two little sisters that are yeah. still in elementary yeah. type shit? You know, and that's you need a person in that life because like it kind of brings you back to reality, you know? Yeah. Mm. Like rather than just dwelling on like people being sad for you exactly. like you need someone to tell you what you need to do yeah right now mm-hmm. you know? so you're saying you're saying everybody needs to find themselves a royce yeah or a style of, of royce because this <laughs> one one of one limited edition mm. <laughs> that's what i'm saying yeah. um, it needs to be a logical one <laughs> in your friend yeah. exactly yeah. um but to wrap all this this whole portion this question up i would like to say you know well my dad now he's going through um he's gone through some chemo uh sessions already so ma if you're watching just remember always here for you and for pa so shout out to you love my family and um but it goes to show that everyone needs to receive communication a different way like some people communicate better to other people than necessarily another person would like you have to realize what how you need to be able to be communicated so let's say I, like I'm okay. I'm someone you need to tell straight up, and it'll choke for a little while. I'll choke for I'll choke up for a little while, but I'll kind of realize and be like, okay, you know what? This is this is real for me. So well, my short question out of that whole banter is, <laughs> um, how do you guys need to be communicated to? In my case, I need to be told straight up. Well, mm. Same thing. Yeah. 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 That's how I mean, as it should be. Mm-hmm. Facts. Yeah. Straight yeah. up. Anyone that beats around the around the bush when it comes to like communicating something that's like negative, mm. like nah, you just gotta <clears> tell <throat> straight up. That's why. I, and you can have a disagreement. Hundred yeah. percent, yeah. That's why, like with me and Jenna, like or, like if there's something wrong, like she'll bring it up like there and then. Mm. Like there's there's no like week week long wait and then out of nowhere like oh you did this one time mm. Mm. Yeah. right. I feel you. It's like it's right away. Yeah. yeah. It's like right away, and then like we adjust right after that like our communication is really good yeah mm-hmm. like yeah. and i really appreciate that like mm-hmm. from the both of us but yeah like, like it, if it's not right away and then 
the other person starts to like forget about it you know it's mm. not it's not in their head no more you know like maybe i fucked up one time and then they didn't acknowledge it oh i didn't fuck up that bad so i don't need to worry about it no yeah. more. Mm. and then like a month later all of a sudden this shit hits the fan and then now yeah. you're confused yeah. you know yeah so i just want to clarify but like when i hear right away it i feel like it's like okay then and there we handle the situation or like next day mm. message you about it yeah yeah but when I think of right away, I think of like giving the person uh, who has a problem with you time to figure it out for themselves and then coming to you right away instead of like, you know, spreading rumors, gossip, talking to other people. Fuck. You know what I mean? So when I think of uh, right away, it's not like, okay, next day, like kind of thing. It's not fast. It doesn't need to be fast. Yeah. I just think of like. Well, as long that as you space. communicate that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, 100%. As long as the person's like, I'm not ready to talk about this yeah. right mm-hmm. now, you yeah. know? Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, you just got to respect that. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Giving space is hard. Oh, 100%, bro. Hard. Yeah. Especially with someone, like, really close to you. Mm-hmm. Like, giving space is, like, probably the hardest thing ever. Because, like, like, say, like, I got in a fight with Marius. Mm-hmm. And Marius goes to me for, like, two weeks. Like, what the fuck? What happened? You know? Yeah. Like, like, and then if that space isn't communicated either, now nah, I'm confused. But yeah, you know confused. what the fuck's going on, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 I've I've dealt with a couple situations with, like that where um, people's understanding of what space is, mm. uh, mm-hmm. is really differentiated. Yeah, if you're not communicated of your space, then like obviously boundaries are gonna get overstepped. Yeah, boundaries part. Oh. Bang. Um, what are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> talking about space. Space. Yeah. Space. Yeah, like, how about you and, like, your past relationships? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. How about, like, say, like, with your one of your exes, like, if you guys ever took a break, like, did you ever communicate the, the space that you needed and the duration of, sp- like, time that you needed for your space? Or were you guys kind of just guesstimating and, like... Um, oh, my God. I'm so bad at, um... Oh, space oh my goodness <laughs> like, are you wait, 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 I was gonna, are you clingy like do you feel like I'm you're yourself clingy, clingy? Mm-hmm. but um i have i'm like whenever i take breaks from my exes i usually you know talk again and i'm very apologetic and mm. you know whatever like we'll get over it and we'll fix it or all that and go back yeah and then like you know it goes it goes in a cycle yeah mm. you get into habit but i'm trying to break that habit <laughs> um but anyways yeah uh i would definitely say i've had my fair share of like giving space yeah and being able to kind of just like you know be in your head or not be in your head, but, you know, talk to yourself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See what you really feel, how you feel about the situation. Mm. And then, because the more honest you are with yourself, the more it'll communicate out and the more level you will be with the person, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. So, yeah, as long as you're honest with yourself, as long as you keep that communication with the person, then, yeah. I yeah. Think it's, uh... I think that's the best you could do. Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah, I've only learned that recently. Don't get me wrong. Really? Like, yeah. Like how long it's, ago? It, it, it's a... Uh, um... Mm, <laughs> uh, <laughs> is she single or... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Is she single, uh, Chaska guys? Is single. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking news. Oh. Breaking news. <laughs> TV patrol. <laughs> <laughs> dun, 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 if y'all dun, dun, interested in Chaska, make sure you, you're listening. <laughs> No comment. <laughs> Ooh, okay. But um, yeah, it's uh, yeah, I've had my fair share of learning yeah. to really give space, mm-hmm. and f- also it's good for myself. You know, yeah, I, yeah. I, that's how 100%. I think about it. Is yeah. like the space will also be good for me to get myself through to it. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. and you can like teach other people as well. Like in your future relationships, mm-hmm. you can teach them like, oh, like. This when when this happened and we had to take space it didn't work out like this. Mm-hmm. So like you can we'll try this one. Yeah, you can teach it to another mm-hmm. person. Yeah, big facts. Like, yeah. yeah. 
passing down. Yeah. Passing down space and time, bro. Yeah, exactly. Space and time. Healthy Some relationships. Magic. Yeah. That's what we need. Yeah. More Big of. fact. That's true. Yeah. That is yeah, fact. We need to break all the trauma and all the um, generational trauma. Yeah. Yeah. yeah fuck the know. trauma. That is true. Yo, that's like, <laughs> like that when is we true, have children, bro. we can't, you know, we can't pass that on. Yeah. yeah. It 100%. needs to be a different cycle. Mm. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's just my say. I'm like done. going <laughs> going more into that like like i mean like you know growing up like conversations with your parents and stuff like mm. really hard oh my god the hardest you know I mean? thing in the world bro. but like as you get older you learn to like okay i gotta like say something this time mm. yeah. or i gotta like stand up for myself the hardest yeah. thing you know, in like the that. world is talking to your asian parents but yeah it is. Yeah, when was sorry? You know, say you that, no, when was the first time you stood up to your parents? I think I was always a bad oh kid, mm. so I would always talk back. Mm. That's always how I'm feeling. Mm. So there was just I think there was just one day where I said the same shit that I always say, mm. and my mom listened. Mm. You know, something like that. Like yeah. you hear it over and over again, it's a fucking problem. Yeah, yeah. facts. You know what I mean, that is true. I think the only time I think the very first time uh, my. Okay, my nephews were at my house. They're like mm. hella young, like three, like three, four, right? Yeah. So they got a motherfucking like like permanent marker, like a sharpie, right? Ooh. And mm. they they like drew. How, how, they drew. They <laughs> they drew on like the TV in my room, oh, shit. like on the oh screen, gosh. right? On the screen, and I wasn't home was at this time. It was a good time. TV though. Yeah. Yeah. It was a good TV. No, it was like well, you know. <laughs> okay, okay. Was, was it the one with the big back? And huh, bro, this is when back, I was yeah. young. This is not a dummy. Bro. <laughs> it's the it's the one with the big back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like yeah, silver yeah. with the big back. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. So and you didn't then, care about it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I cared about that. Like, because it's, it's my it's my first TV in my room, right? You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Next. Right. So like, and then they drew on that shit when I wasn't home. Right. Come home, go into my room. I'm like, damn, there's like Sharpie everywhere. It's like on my fan, on my TV, on my wall. Right? Yeah. There's a bunch of scribbles, right? I go downstairs, choked as fuck. I look at my dad. <laughs> Boom. I'm like, hey, if you took care of them and babysat them like they were supposed to be, they wouldn't do that, right? Yeah. Said it to my dad. Boom. Dad gets up. Bah! Takes out the sleeper. Bah! Bah! Boom. Right? Oh <laughs> Smacking you. Smack me with yeah. a slipper, right? Yeah, but even, I was though like, the, even though the nephews are in the wrong, bro. Yeah, that's like, what I'm saying. Now, clearly. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah. Clearly. Yeah. Bro. There's evidence, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was the very first time I ever, like, stood up to my parents. Wow. Mm. Yeah, but like, and that you, was a, you got smacked for it. I got smacked <laughs> for it. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Of but, course, like, when though. you when you progressively get older, they li- they start to listen a little bit more. You know, you know, you know why they start listening more? Because at a certain point, at a certain point, the punches start start stop hurting, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you start hurting. Oh shit! Throw me a boom. Yeah. Got it. Shut like, up, bro. <laughs> like yeah. you can't hit me no more. Like shut up. Like I remember this one time. I think it was like in the middle of high school. Like I was stupid stressed. Like it was like end of the semester. Like we're all the test finals. Blah 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 blah. Mm-hmm. Right. And my mom's like cleaning the dishes. Like now nah, I'm studying. Yeah. Right. And then I'm like, and she's like, nah, clean dishes now. You got to clean it, mm. right? Clean the whole kitchen now, yeah. right? I'm like, oh, fuck. I'm like, no, I'm studying. I got to study. I got a final tomorrow, right? Uh, she's like, nah, like, like you need to do it right now. Turn, I'm going to yeah, hit yeah, you, yeah, right? Yeah. I'm like, this, this is like grade nine, yeah, grade like, 10. Yeah, super impatient, yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah. I'm already big body at this time, bro. I know, yeah, I know oh, that. Shit. I know that. Well, you ain't finna hit me, back. bro. Yeah, big yeah. Boy, yeah. But, then, but then I told her about how, like, my mental health was doing, right? And she didn't understand that shit. Why you? Why are you sad? Right? Yeah, yeah, why? Yeah, why? Yeah. Why? Why? Why you stress, bro? Yeah, stop! Yeah. Stru- stop being stressed. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what happened to us? <laughs> you got big that same old shit, right? And then I just, I just broke down like crying, like telling her, right? And then my mom, I love my mom, but like at that time, like zero sympathy, bro. Really? I'm crying, bawling my eyes, right? She's like, Shoot. she's like, basically, wash the dishes still. Yeah, she's like, <laughs> like, she's like, fuck it, I'll wash the dishes, oh, right? No. But she, she was choked about you it. No, right? she's going to hold that one till the next day. Yeah, <laughs> you, know, you, you like you hear that thing when they when your parents say like, if I was, if I was dead, what would you do without yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. classic, right? <laughs> classic, oh bro. Gosh. Reaching the breaking point, bro. Talking yeah. about killing themselves and shit. Oh my god, they're gonna die soon. Yeah, not even that, bro. She's like, I'll take myself out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like. <laughs> Dude, I now remember you're gonna learn the, by yourself. I remember in the van, my mom used to be to my sisters, "Why are you crying? You ain't got no real reason to cry. I'll give you a real reason." To cry. <laughs> 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 All my favorite growing up is, I'm dead. "Hey, quiet, stop crying. I'll put you outside. I'll stop the car. I'll leave you outside." <laughs> 
<laughs> oh yeah, my bro. gosh. It's yeah, so bro. crazy that we yeah. laugh about it because it's so normal. It's so, for us. It's so <laughs> fucking normal. Loki, it's so traumatizing. <laughs> you, yeah. yeah. At the time, if though. You put oh another gosh. kid through this shit, like. Yeah. Dude, oh my god, like, you know? Social oh. services. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> right away, bro. Oh they call they call the cops. Like, remember every time we try to threaten to call the cops? They'll call <laughs> the cops. Yeah, I remember, <laughs> I remember yeah. dude, I, I was always calling the cops, right? And my mom was not scared. Like, she, you know, she got nothing to worry about, right? I'm like, fuck it, I'll call the fire. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. Oh my the house is burning down. <laughs> I used to play with fire in the sink, like <laughs> oh shit, like God. what? Dude, would this burn? Like, <laughs> I didn't know you were burning. <laughs> I did that shit so in. much, bro. Dude, come with on. the paper towels, bro. That's <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> I remember my mom. She was like, I was, I was like young, super young. I don't know. I, I think I was like eleven or something. Mm. But you know, I was talking back to her, and then she was like. Something went down, and she threatened to call social services on What? Me. On you? <laughs> on you? Like it was a reverse card, bro. Reverse card, bro. <laughs> I'll call it on you. <laughs> you're you're being a, a bad daughter. You're, bad, you're a bad kid. Like, I don't think you're, you're a bad kid. I can't, I can't fucking raise you. I don't think you. I can handle you, bro. Like, <laughs> send you back to the orphanage. Fuck you, bro. Right? like... She was like, you're not going to be with your family anymore. You want to be with another family? Like, oh, she, she oh, say no. that? And I was like, I don't want to be with anybody else but you guys. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> bro. Aww, if, y'all sorry. Don't, if y'all don't have Asian parents, bro, you haven't lived life, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Low key, bro. <laughs> they be teaching you, know you all the shit before you get into relationships. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, you I have not lived why life. we can take criticism is because of that. <laughs> Low key, no, yeah. 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 And just the way their like communication is just so fucking bad. It's, yeah. that, it's like, so straight up. Yeah, it's so, so straight yeah. up. So you yeah. know what to do when you're not, uh, you know what not to do in that mm-hmm. same situation. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. they go straight to insults. Like yeah. they'll yeah. roast Real. the fuck they'll out of you. you. Real. Yeah, personally, they're like, "Oh, you lazy, you fat, you ugly." They'd be what? like, "They'd be like, yo, your uncle just came home from the casino, won like five hundred bucks." <laughs> they'd be like, "Damn." Uncle got a gambling problem. <laughs> 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 what? Like, where did that come from? 500 bucks. Like, you're not proud of me. They found the like... worst in everything, bro. <laughs> the worst in like, everything. What? Like, they're crazy, bro. I love my parents, you go, right? Like, one time, and then yeah, like, yeah. one time you go, you get 500 bucks. Dude, yeah. Yeah. And Asian parents are fucking different, bro. <laughs> they're different. It's always a yelling match. There's no talking. Yeah. Yeah. And and then and then I remember this one time with my mom. I was like, I was I was like the one speaking calmly because my mom likes to yell. She mm-hmm. loves screaming. She loves the screaming match. Yeah, right? my mom's the same. Yeah, and my then, dad keep it real quiet. Right? Yeah, yeah. So I so I used to be like that too. Moms, yeah, As yeah it shut be. up. Yeah. Like I I like to <laughs> yeah, yell too. Like I love yelling matches, bro. Like I'll out yell you any day. Mm-hmm. My, I remember one time my mom started yelling. I started making random noises, making. <laughs> I can see it too. I'm just, I'm just yelling. Really random. Random. Good wood is bouncing on. <laughs> I'm just yelling. I'm just yelling random shit, right? My mom. <laughs> Big boy Royce. Bro. Yeah. Bro, I was yelling random Jean shit. Jack and Vest, bro. Yeah, bro. And then, and then, and then oh, the up. And then the Royce. one time, the one time, my mom wanted to have a yelling match, and I wasn't down. I, I didn't have the energy. So I, I toned it real down, real calm, mm, real calm, real right? Seductive. Yeah. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> no, excuse me. <laughs> real mom? calm, real, real calm, right? And yeah, she's yeah, yelling yeah. at me, and I'm talking to her like this, like, oh yeah, blah 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 blah, right? Real calm, right? And then she's still yelling at me. I'm like, if you're not gonna be the adult, I'll be the adult. So I'm, Dang. I'm talking real calm, right? Yeah. So I got my shit, Loki, in my yeah. bag right now, yeah. in my bag, right? Yeah, yeah, my mom yeah, said, yeah. get the fuck out the house, you ain't coming back. Yeah, yeah. She up said, get the fuck out the house, you ain't coming back. I go yeah, outside yeah. for 15 minutes. I get to call my phone. I come back, <laughs> and she spent the rest, <laughs> the rest of the time in her room for like three hours, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Like, sometimes you just gotta stay calm, bro. Yeah, like, the yelling definitely. match, don't get anywhere. Mm. If one person's gonna act like a kid, you gotta act like the adult, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah, you, you gotta get them while they're real happy so that, like, it's not as bad, you know? Facts. <laughs> Facts. Well, I mean, for me, I, I struggled with my first time trying to talk to my parents, too. Um, I mean, who doesn't? But I, um, it wasn't until, like, my younger sibling started to get a little older and she was making decisions of herself for herself and that was she was asking me like talk to your sister of all that and all that but it, it, uh, then i would mm. be more like well why don't you talk to her yo real yo i do the same shit because like like with my sisters i feel like i treat my sisters the way my tr- parents <laughs> treated so cute. thank you 
So I've treat like my sisters the way my parents treat them or me, mm-hmm. right? So then sometimes I'll be bringing up stuff like, oh, like don't talk back or like, mm-hmm. why are you doing that? Like just yeah. like that, right? And like they don't listen to me, and then I and then that's when I know like, cause my communication with my parents is so good, mm-hmm. I can just straight up tell my mom or my dad like, like yo, you need to say something, mm-hmm. right? So like I don't know, getting to that like like uh area where you're comfortable to talk to your parents like that mm-hmm. is like like it's the hardest it's part yeah. yeah it's like something you got to build on i i never really i remember only having maybe one or two yelling matches growing up but i i've always known that you're a very conservative person yeah like i i tend to just <laughs> chill chill out and let him say everything because i remember one time trying to cut out or they cut in, mm. um, and they would be like, "I'm not done, I'm not finished," and then they go even longer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I always it's a repeat. Yeah, you always, start from the yeah, beginning. You, start all, you gotta hear the story all over again. Audible yeah, book. <laughs> Since you interrupted me, I'm sorry from the top, exactly. bro. <laughs> and um, I, I kind of had to learn just to wait and chill, and then um, let them let out everything that they had to do. Yeah. I think growing up, now every time my mom or my dad has something to tell me, I always let them speak everything first. And then just so I know that they've let everything off their chest. Yeah. Because then there's at that point, all you can do now is just talk about the root of what they're talking about. Mm. And um, yeah, I, I, I now have a better communication. I'm sure with ev- all, everyone here would like to say comfortably that uh, they've developed at least a better communication role with their parent mm. or parents. Oh, yeah. And um I think understanding that now, like, I'm really thankful for that. I definitely neglected that growing mm-hmm. up. So. 100%. Yeah, actually. My mom and I were always <coughs> bickering, and then I moved out, and we became best friends. Really? <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah. Maybe it's like the household thing, like, yeah, facts. all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Like my, one roof, day my, house, just, yeah. my roof. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's a big <laughs> when I moved out, um, one day I just went back to her place. So, like, we started cooking and everything. We were bonding, you know? And then um, she, like, looked at me, and she's like, Wow, you're an adult now. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I've been since I moved out. Yeah, come on, I moved out already. I moved I'm out. Like, I'm, I'm trying, you miss you me? Know. Are you are you an only child or no, you're the youngest? I'm the youngest of. Six. That's why, bro. Six. <laughs> yeah. Six. You got five siblings. Mm-hmm. That's uh, four crazy. brothers. And four brothers. Sister. Oh my gosh, she yeah. had no idea. That's crazy, bro. Near the, near wait, the, wait, why did you say would that make sense? Huh? <laughs> Do I have a youngest personality? No, like the like your mom saying like, oh, you're grown up now. Oh, say, okay. yeah, 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 you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Dang, you speak to Gabriel. I was like trying to take so it personally. <laughs> <laughs> Relax, no, bro. Service level, yeah. okay? Yeah. It's not that deep, all right? Communication, Relax. communication, yeah. communication. Right. Tanya right now is not that deep. Right. There. <laughs> See, what if she just kept that in like the whole time? She was like, <laughs> damn. Next time, next time Royce she's was talking Yeah, shit. so apparently when I'm the youngest, apparently I got some sort of attitude. Yeah. You hear the whole story like, damn, Royce a bad guy now. <laughs> Let me breathe. No, nah, because nah, like I'm the I'm the kid, right? Like I'm the I'm the youngest of three, yeah. so like I get treated like the baby. Like yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. still probably you the baby. You don't listen to them. You don't listen to them. Yeah, yeah. I don't. Yeah, I'm the baby. Like we're all yeah, separated like, by like five years, so like we're all like super like yeah. Like my brother's five years. Yeah. yeah. My my sister's like thirty, like yeah, thirty thirty three. Yeah. My brother's like twenty twenty eight, right? So my parents still treat me like a baby. Like they always still spoil me with these certain things, right? Mm-hmm. But my brother get no no attention, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Middle child syndrome, bro. Yeah, that's the way to be, bro. It really does. Yeah, yeah. but the thing is, sometimes like, I look at my middle sister, I'm like. Tough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but like, <laughs> what can I do about it? <laughs> oh my gosh, being bro. being the youngest, bro. Like you, you are like always gonna be the baby. You know what I'm saying? Like you mm-hmm. guys don't experience it, mm-hmm. but like when I start doing like big boy shit, like buying my car, like what if I put a down payment on my house? Like mm-hmm. my parents won't let me go because like I'm like the youngest that they mm-hmm. have. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That's the whole yeah. Too. yeah. Like I'm saying, if I move out, like I know my parents will like be always like, be there. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Respect that. Love that though. Nice. Yeah, that's so loving. You saw that one <laughs> TikTok, or like the is an old ass dude, like ninety something, ninety five, right? Is it, is it the one in the courtroom? Like yeah, in the courtroom. Yeah. And then he's like, "Yeah, I need to drive. I only drive sometimes." He got pulled over for a driving ticket or whatever. Yeah. And then he's like, "I only drive sometimes. Only when I need to. I need to take my son to his appointments. How old's your son? Sixty five. God damn. Still taking care of him at 95, bro. Like, yeah. Wow. That's, that's crazy. crazy. 
Some real shit. Yeah. yeah. That's love. That's unconditional love. Damn, imagine your son's 65. Dang, 95, bro. This guy's living, bro. This guy's living. Yeah. 95. Imagine living till 95. Do you guys think you would? Oh, I Sidetrack. Honestly, don't want to live that long. Yeah? I'd rather my years be, like, full and, like, like you know, risk-free. Like, you know what I mean? Like, mm. I don't need to worry about, like, dying no, soon because, like... Yeah. I think I'd be... be I'm life. happy dying at 80 or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In 80, mm. 70. I don't need more life. I need, like, more life while I'm living. Mm. Wow. Respect that. <laughs> Respect that. Thank like, you, Like, Drake. Thank you, Drake. Thank you, Drake. <laughs> We ate all the big chips, bro. God, Jessica did, bro. Jessica. She's out here with the chopsticks. Like, she got it real I'm good. Bing, 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 she, got, <laughs> she got the technique I'm down bing. straight. She you know, she out here like this. Take her to sushi, <laughs> bro. She's good at it. Like. <laughs> Do you want to? You can have chopsticks. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't going to get, you know. If you so. <laughs> Fuck them chopsticks, bro. Hang it out. Hello. Sorry, Chess, I have to go pee. <laughs> <laughs> well, she communicated to us. She communicated to us that she needed to go to the washroom. She was like, Do you guys take bathroom breaks? We're like, I guess so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we'll take a bathroom break. <laughs> she ain't even drinking alcohol, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I've been drinking water. Water flows more. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. Excuses. <laughs> 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 yeah, but we were talking about communicating. Um, I think, like, Aside from all the like advice, advice stuff, yeah, 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 and like deeper stuff, mm, yeah, with the parents and all that, yeah, yeah, yeah. like I just want to talk about like surface level, like talking, communicating with people, like mm. social settings, parties, in what, clubs, like in what cases though, like what are you saying, like, like what <clears throat> surface level communication? I'm honestly off the rip. <laughs> like, like I'm thinking like, like yo, how do y'all like flirt with women and like. At a party Yay. at a club, like real, yeah. like how y'all be doing that? How y'all end up in that? I cannot oh answer that question. Please let okay. me answer. Okay, <laughs> okay like, what do you yeah, like? I what cannot do you answer like? the question, so Chesco will answer either. the question. Roger cannot answer the question, <laughs> so <laughs> Marius can answer the question. Yes. So then, so what? What do you like? Like what? When a guy approaches, when, how a guy approaches? Yeah. What do you like? Yeah. Um. Okay. Well, depending on the atmosphere. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, like say, okay, let's say commonly at a club. Let's say it's at a party. Let's, let's okay. House party. Down party. House party. House party. House party. House party. House party. House party. Cool. This yeah. Is COVID. No clubs. <clears throat> Still just as bad, but <laughs> only, okay. only, we'll uh, pass. only we'll party. Pass. We went to the homies. It's only the homies. Like, you know, if we all get COVID, you know, we're all together. You know, six group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. House party though. Six people. But yeah, no. Um. Not really. No, shut the fuck up. Let her answer, bro. What the heck? Fuck these ad libs, bro. These ad libs. Sorry, I can't think straight when I. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm joking. No, but um, it's actually yeah. So, how if it was at a party, you have to gauge it. You know, you have to. Like, gauge is it like is timing the, is timing a the, thing? The, it's the time. Situation. Yeah. Yes. So or, timing's important. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You don't want to go straight to her in the beginning of the party. Not really. You haven't made an impression yet. No, mm. I don't think so. I'm, yeah. I'm thinking it through you, for it. You, want, you need to be calculated. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 100%. You pull up at a party like, damn, you see a cute girl. You're not gonna go up to her right away. Yeah, yeah. you gotta I get a, you you a little yeah, tipsy. Unless you're like very confident and you're yeah. like, yeah. Hey, unless shoddy. you got this in a bag, like, <laughs> hey, hey shoddy. Shoddy. <laughs> Unless you was like a Jonas brother, like back in the day, like, yeah. <laughs> What happened to Frankie? Exactly. Frankie? Who's Frankie? Isn't Frankie like, the little one? <laughs> what? No, that's Nick. There's Nick, there's Joe. Yeah, there's four. Frankie. Yeah, Frankie. Nick's the middle. Four. Joe. Nick, Joe, Frank and is middle. Nick, Joe, and Kevin. There's no fourth one, bro. There's four oh. brothers. There's yeah. three brothers. Isn't there a new baby? No, but there's no, like there's like a baby. Isn't there a baby brother? <laughs> there's a baby brother? No, no bro. No. That's the that's the TV show. <laughs> <laughs> I don't keep up with the Jonas's. No, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. I, I think there's only three. I'm gonna look it up. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Kevin, it's Kevin. I'm gonna look it up later. I'm gonna look it up later. Okay, whatever. Okay, whatever. Okay, whatever. Okay, whatever. Yeah. Nick. Yeah. Priyanka. Guy approaches you. Mm. Bang. Yeah, Bang. What are you doing at the party? Like, because I feel like what's you, the best you way you to approach be a girl? Creepy, but at the same time, like you know, you just okay. want to be friendly. Just be friendly and like make conversation. You know, mm. make her laugh. Okay. Mm. Um, Jeez. You want everyone taking like, notes? <clears> okay, but like, what's the best way? Sorry, chopsticks. 
but what's the best way to approach a girl like the beginning like first yeah um, you know first interaction like Oh, you like it like you like it when you like it like, comes on strong or like softly or like the little swan you know or like yeah. grabs yeah. a friend grabs a friend says like yo introduce us like hey. um, you know with a shout here, you know options <laughs> that there there are options yeah for sure but depends on what you're comfortable with mm. as well and but how I how I will like it is when um. <laughs> They really show. She will like it, so <laughs> I think that's a this is a guarantee. <laughs> this is it's a guarantee pull. I can imagine all the homies that watching. Was her saying she's this is a motherfucking guarantee pull. <laughs> so I I'm saying, take notes, take notes. Take notes. Notice, but a guaranteed Slide, pull right here. Slide shows will she be said no later. comment earlier, but it was a trick, guys. <laughs> <laughs> she is commenting. Well, you guys are asking. Yeah, run it out, run it out, run it out, run it out, run it out. Sorry, I rudely interrupted you. Continue. That's, okay. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> um, but I, um, I like a guy who's genuine. Like you know, mm. um, and if you approach it in a very genuine way, and not trying to ha- give out an attention that you want something out of it, mm. conversation. You mm. kind of just have to go into it yeah. without expecting, expecting anything. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. mm. at the same time, like if I reject you. Move like on. if you get mad, it's you not can't my get fault. mad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know? yeah. yeah fuck so. you, stupid bitch. <laughs> you wasn't cute anyway. Yeah, <laughs> I was trying to get you with your friend. <laughs> <laughs> classic, classic, classic. Yeah, no, but um, it's just like it's a lot better that way. You feel more comfortable. I feel like the whole you know friendship as your foundation should be yeah. what you're kind of <clears throat> aiming for. Mm. Yeah, and then mm. you know, but I hate. People who like rush into it. Facts. Yeah, honestly, I think I think when you when you're trying to hit, yeah, when you're trying to hit up a girl's slide, right? Like making them comfortable is like the best thing you could do, mm. bro. Because first of all, honestly, like having someone DM you or go go up to you in a party, it's already an uncomfortable yeah, setting. Yeah, it's like mm-hmm. I don't know. If I don't know who you me are. Or me exactly. Right now, like, <clears> there's so <throat> many things going through your head. Like I don't know what the fuck you're gonna do to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Like as long as you're genuine, like and can keep them comfortable. Yeah. Like you're in a better place than anyone that's like, hey, like yo, what's up, Shotty? What's your Snapchat? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So, so what's your for, TikTok? So for the younger people. <laughs> <laughs> For the younger people, I got you guys. Um, like, how do, how do you go about like approaching women like that? Like in high school, like, what's how do you young, show what's genuine? Like, 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 like what's so young, so you're you're saying what you like is like genuineness, like yeah, you know, real. Mm-hmm. You know, you're not expecting anything. So then, how do I approach you with that intention? How do I mm-hmm. make that I like communicate that, that mm-hmm. to you? Right. Like, you know, <laughs> I'm like yeah. trying to think of a scenario. Right Imagine now. someone coming up to you and like, "Hey, I'm trying to make you comfortable. You trying to slide?" <laughs> <laughs> I guess I get. Okay, wait. Like, so like, trying to slide. you're saying like more friends. So if you so, guys okay, become friends, they, you yeah. would be cool with like, like, hey, like, how was your how would your day go? Like, well, okay. So the thing is, when you're at a party atmosphere and say the girl's going to the kitchen, what you what you drink, doing tonight? Whatever. I'm at the party. You getting a drink? <laughs> listen, listen. Right, right, right. Getting a drink. So the scenario, right? <laughs> The girl is getting a drink at the kitchen or yeah. wherever yeah. the drink is. Yeah. And, um, you know, you kind of like simply comfortably at a good distance. <laughs> um, social get a drink too? Like a yeah. social get a drink too. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you're like, yeah, what are you drinking? And then, and then, like and then you, reach, you reach for the same bottle that she's yeah, yeah. reaching for. Yeah. Oh, you like, you like Smirnoff you raspberry that too? That that's too much. That's too much. <laughs> That's can't be hopeless romantic with you it. Would that work on you though? No. <laughs> that wouldn't work on you? No. If I'd be like, like oh, just sorry, sorry. Like that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you just, okay, you first. Like, yeah. <laughs> now you okay, go, you go, go, you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, but, um, you know, make a joke. I don't know. Make like, a joke. <laughs> just <laughs> randomly <laughs> standing behind you. Hey, uh. <laughs> <laughs> a guy walked into a bar. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. 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 You like that one? And was it good for you? Like, can we talk now? <laughs> My intentions are good. Like, I'm genuine. I'm making I just I told a joke. Come on. I'm genuine. That's what she said. That's what Jessica said. You know, introduce yourself. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, um, Who's your friend here? I don't know. Oh. Like, you know, whatever. Okay, yeah. Who do you know at this party? Yeah. Mm. All that, blah, blah, blah. You know, like, make a conversation. And yeah. then as you work your way, like, you don't necessarily have to 
have small talk. Like, yeah. you just, you know, shit and goes. Yeah. Just yeah. an impression. It, some yeah. yeah. You guys talking. You have to, like, well, like I said, you have to gauge it. You yeah. Know? Mm-hmm. Like, if you have that chemistry, who knows? You could go up to them and you might not even like them. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah. Like, just make so conversation. <laughs> um, be confident with it. Be confident. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think that's confidence, a bro. really good key to that's have. Really confidence, bro. Right. Is is um, yeah, when a guy shit. is very confident. Yeah. And like you know, he makes you laugh, and it's good, and you know. All right, so I got a Chesky game How's plan. How's the weather? <laughs> How's the weather? <laughs> you you pull up to the party, yo yo. This the, this a game plan. I baby. This a game plan. This is what you guys should be learning right now. <laughs> Take so out basically, your notebook. <clears throat> she's saying, at a party, right? Mm. You pull up. And you don't come on real strong, even though you mm. think she's cute, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. She's got to wait a little bit. Of course, because mm-hmm. then you don't want to yeah. end up like it's a really creep. Great. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Staring yeah. at you. Yeah, you got yeah. yeah. to yeah. keep cool. the scene, bro. You look act, over you gotta, once, look back. You got to act <laughs> like you you didn't see her. You got to act like you I'm didn't like, see her. Is this guy going to kidnap me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine guy posted on the side, bro. What is drip? <laughs> He's just looking at you like, damn. For 15 minutes. You're my next victim. And, and, and his head broke. God damn. And like, I'm about to it's take not you. Even like, I'm not trying to be like narcissistic or anything, but it's just crazy and like, you yeah, know, sad yeah. that that actually happened. Like, you came so. to the party for this? Like, yeah. oh, come on. Bro, yeah. guys that go to like clubs, parties, for that, like, I think it's just to like. Slide yeah. on some girls, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like, You're sad, bro. You see it in the club You're all the time. So they're always, dude. They're, they're always, always posted. They're posted. They're yeah, never yeah, dancing. They're looking. They're looking. They're dancing no, with no homies, yeah, bro. Yeah, they're posted like this. <laughs> like maybe like two of them, right? They have. They always have their drink and they're looking. They're scoping, right? They got they no see, friends. They see one. They go into the crowd. Like, hey, do you want to dance? Says no. Goes back. Same, same spot. spot. <laughs> Yo, don't same be that same guy. Same. Please don't be that guy that just goes your homie to the club, like. Looking, just y'all, looking like for something, bro. You guys are weird, man. Like, honestly, looking it's only it's only kind of cool when like the old dudes come through. Oh, that's the real and shit. And they're so old, no girl wants nothing to do yeah, with they them. Still, uh, so, but they still having fun. So, <laughs> like, you know, to... they're always a vibe. You know, that's what exactly. I'm saying. as the long old. as you're happy. <laughs> yeah. Has anyone like? I'm pretty sure some guys like slid in your DMs <clears throat> before, right? Mm-hmm. So how? What's your experience with that? What's the best one? What's the best? What's the, what's the be- best? What's the one? That's what, what we want to know. Okay, you know how you go on like message what's the one request? that got you. What's okay, the one that you actually accepted the, the message best request? Best the got you. <laughs> Watch um, the best first. <laughs> to be honest with you, I don't really, I don't at all reply to DMs unless they involve work. <laughs> mm. But um, like I've seen DMs that are um, unless like I've I met them in person. Yeah. And then they yeah. DM me. Yeah. Then that's a different story. Yeah. But how about some like international, like some random guy from Asia? Um, you know, I get rich. the typical like dick pics. Yeah. Like, what? Um, can I be your pay pig? Like Ooh, that's you know, crazy. Like, you never thought about it money? once. But I feel like they're all robots. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. You never thought about it though. Like you think a robot got a dick pic? I've definitely thought about it. Some Some other. I don't think it's never not cross any girl's mind to yeah, the sugar yeah, yeah, yeah. baby, you like, know? You might, might as well give it a chance, you exactly. know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yo, Jenna, <laughs> grab a bag, bro. Hey, was, give you me 10%. Be, be I, saw, yeah. I seen that one TikTok. Give me 10%. The one TikTok where he brings his girl to Starbucks or whatever to hang with the sugar daddy, yeah. and he's just waiting in the car. Like, yeah. <laughs> honestly, yeah. just watching honestly, the whole she, thing. And she's like, paying for the, the house, the, the kids, the, mean, the food, bro. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're a trophy husband then you don't have anything to complain about. <laughs> she yeah. is. Yeah. She is, okay. So. Right, what's the best That's and the she's worst? looking what's for, guys. You know, the trophy husband. What's no, 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 no. You gotta no, have money, bro. Trophy she trophy husband. I need someone who can provide. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, what's, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. what's the What's the best? I'm both, trying to be both the both trophy wife. What the <laughs> what's the best DM that you got? The one that, like, intrigued you. We are like, Sheesh. damn, I might respond. Um. Okay, <laughs> so there was one guy that, he sent a very long audio message. That's and crazy. It was the funniest thing ever. Audio message. Like, yeah. Like funny and, and like. So like, that's the way, it guys. Was, it was like, oh my god. <laughs> you slide. Like, it was funny. It was so funny to the point where I contemplated on replying. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> they have that on um, Hinge now. Yeah. I Hinge is a new that. new shit. Yeah. It's yeah. hilarious, bro. It's sick. It's, I see the ads so on TikTok funny, all the time. Bro. It's so <laughs> fucking it's funny, all, bro. That's how I know about it. <laughs> Yeah, no, he was like, he was like, oh, like, you, I know we don't li- live in the same um, country, country or, or, or city or whatever, but um, I know 
that you're gonna end up as my wife and and I'm gonna be your husband. Like, Whoa, geez. you know, I, was, I love that. And, and but you still I think about it, man. It's like you still I, think I know about I'm saying it, and it sounds a little creepy, but yeah. the way he was saying it was so funny, and I was <laughs> What's just going like, because he was singing, like funny, like you was, wouldn't to give it a chance. It. He oh was no, like, he was like, yeah. is that a good thing? You like that? But. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to let you you guys know like, like <laughs> what they gotta do Not like exactly. next time. <laughs> Not so exactly. Funny. Guys are trying to slide right now. They giving you, you're giving all this beef. Like, I don't know where you are, but I'm gonna make you my wife. <laughs> like the, I love this guy's the down bad. You know, I respect cool. the imagination, but um. Did you watch Too Hot to Handle? At season one, I did. Season one, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But there's this one dude. He's just hella deep for no reason. <laughs> it's, oh yeah. Wait, wait, what wait, season? What? what season? Third one, bro. Oh, oh I'm not caught up. okay. So <laughs> <laughs> this what guy happened? Patrick. He fucking <laughs> he gives his girl a flower, right? And she's like, "Oh wow, like cool, like, yeah, flower, right?" And he goes back to the boys. He's like, "You guys, I just gave Georgia a flower. I think she likes me." <laughs> 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 he's like telling all the other men to step off like you just gave him a flower like <laughs> he's oh the one yeah <laughs> and he ended up not getting the girl no. so that doesn't work guys <sighs> i mean flowers are nice but not right away mm. not like you know <laughs> just gave her a flower fuck off not right away guys <laughs> just throw it shit you like me? <laughs> i mean i'm not much of a flower person you know? no. like giving <laughs> like giving or receiving yeah, if, yeah girls are into that mm. but yeah like i just don't see the point of flowers like they die anyway yeah, they're gonna die like, like nice but you week. know what's really cute is when like guys um have or they pick flowers and they're like oh i thought of this oh shit mm. so i should like, pick some buttercups and, like, yeah like, you know didn't it work it's kind of weird <laughs> cute. I would pick up like a fucking blade of grass hey yeah. i thought of you i was walking through uh the field <laughs> you, know the, you know the you know the one well, how dandelion. would you explain that to your girl um, the dandelions bro you like you grab a full one <laughs> full of weeds and then, and then you pass to her sorry i blew it already <laughs> <laughs> like it was really nice though. Like you should have been yeah, there. I got this. Uh, I, uh, fuck, I blew it already. Yeah. <laughs> it's like when Forrest Gump comes in with a box of chocolates. He's like, yeah, I ate some. I ate some. <laughs> I ate some. <laughs> I ate some. Oh Fast my gosh. Anyways. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> so if y'all taking notes, uh, Chesca loves when you tell her that um, she'll be your wife one yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. I want to know how y'all like approach women then. Yeah. Me? Yeah. Like, what's the? Why the asking? Ask yourself too. No, I'm bro. just asking you. Everybody, like, ask how, yourself too. Like the bro. guys, bro. Uh, like mm. the other side, like how y'all mm. at the okay at this at the party setting, mm. and you see a cute girl. What's mm-hmm. what's wrong? Through I don't your act mind, on, like, How you I don't, doing? I don't, I don't do that shit. I don't act Would on that shit. Would you want girls to come up to you? Mm. It'd be nice It'd if be I was nice. single. Honestly, yeah. Disclaimer: If I was single, yeah, like, like. <laughs> It'd be better, you yeah. know. I'm a shy yeah. dude when it comes to that shit. Yeah, right? me too. Like when I was single, like like fresh out of like my relationship in like 2018, mm-hmm. and like, like in that little time frame of me being single, yeah. like I was, I was like, fuck it, like whatever, like I'll yeah. send a DM, whatever. I'll go to the club, like see what whatever happens. Yeah, like, I was one of those dudes, right? Yeah. Yeah. But then I'm not like in a party setting with like where everyone knows each other. Yeah. I'm not gonna slide. I'm not gonna do shit. Mm. I'm a chill I'm, I'm probably house. like halfway like blacked out anyways like yeah it's the way it be yeah nah I feel like <laughs> <laughs> me at parties I I play like the like a like a mystery card kind of thing mm. it's got a mystery right? yeah. <laughs> and like that. it'd be nice to <laughs> thanks I guess so <laughs> but no, I, I, I guess so thing. but yo I like guess so <laughs> I think it's like nice to like you know just chill and have a girl come up to you mm. because that it means like that girl wants really to be in inter- your, yeah, is wants interested to be in, your, in you yeah. yeah like it's always on the flip side like a, a guy has to be like super interested yeah. in a girl yeah. to come up to her Facts. but it's like yo if you were really interested in me pull up yeah, yeah. you know what i mean it's more attractive that way too yeah, yeah facts yeah Level and it makes sense yeah. like yeah most on. of the time i'm like i'm mostly caught up with my homies anyways yeah like, I, don't, I'm not, I don't go to house parties like looking for that shit yeah. like when mm-hmm. i was single like i was like more caught up just like chilling drinking with my homies yeah. rather yeah. than like oh like who's coming in today like maybe they'll be cute like i'll hit them up if i can blah mm-hmm. blah like all that shit like fuck that yeah 
Yeah. Clubs, different story. You, you don't got a cl- game plan then? Game plan? Game plan. Nah, bro. All right, for the clubs then. You got a game plan for nah, clubs? Nah, bro. Just be me. That's facts. Okay. That's facts. How That's do facts. you be you though? What do you mean be me, bro? You know, okay, you've been, like, you been with me at the I know, club, but bro. like, I, I don't know the process. <laughs> like, you see a cute girl, if you're single, and then Yo, honestly, the club, bro, like, when, when when I was single, we would go to the club, like, yeah. every weekend, bro. Yeah. And we went with the homies. Yeah. Like, the thing is, like, all of our homies dance, right? Mm. So, like, people are attracted to the, the people dancers. that can fucking dance yeah. rather than the people that can do the two step for like two hours. I don't yeah. know how the fuck you hold that, that true, up. True, you know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, I love dancers. Like when I see dancers, mm-hmm. I'm like, oh. So let's say you like up. anyone that holds a groove, bro, or like holds know? a beat, you're fine. Let's say, let's you're say you chilling. pull up, right? I feel like it's a plus. When and there's a, there's like dancing. the hottest guy ever you ever seen. Mm. Zach Efron. I don't know what your okay. type is. Peep. And he's dancing like this. And then he just, no <laughs> rhythm whatsoever. Oh, if it's he, your favorite song, too, you're vibing. You're mm-hmm. vibing. And he's yeah, not vibing. No. Like, he can't that, vibe. That's he's gone, unable. That's done. He's I unable need, to vibe. To <laughs> that's be, over. I definitely need to be with someone who can dance. Like, yeah. Exactly. How the fuck are you going to yeah, dance at your wedding? Dancer. Start it now. How are you going to dance at your wedding? Less than you. Studio exactly. North TV. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Shout Take out class North. every week. Yeah, bro. But like Sponsor everyone, us. like yeah, Sponsor. like at, like all the groups, like sweat, <laughs> even like the guys that don't dance when we're in the club, yeah. they come to our group, bro, because we're the fu- we're the vibe. Yeah, and we're then we're the, going like this. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, we're, we're the, the vibe, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like if if like everyone has that confidence in the club, where like you're the vibe. Yeah, yeah. Like people will be attracted, attracted to, to you. Yeah, you're people will come through. Yeah, people will come through and just like vibe with you. And if you're trying to look for something go get it bro yeah. real but if you're not if you're, most of the time our all, all of our friends are just chilling bro yeah. like we're all you gotta like, focus on yourself yeah, exactly. first take care of yeah. yourself first I love dancing at the yeah i want to go back oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's really fun is the strip club dude i was supposed to go last weekend i was trying to, i was supposed to go to brandy's brandy's oh yeah yeah but Have then they ended up being closed I yeah it's been. fucking covid mm. No, well, I haven't been though. Mm, I see. <laughs> what about you, Roger? Oh, what about you in the club, bro? Me in the club. Well, Roger in the club. I was with me, yeah, Mace, okay, and Roger okay. were, were we were there when Roger just got out of the relationship. Tell, I want to tell a cute story too, actually. You go first. You go first. You haven't talked to him. You go first. Yeah, I'm just listening to everyone. I'm practicing my <laughs> communication. Yeah, your understanding. Um, <laughs> me in the club, bro. Shoot. Shoot. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Not I'm not that good. Um, but I remember it was real love, and uh, we shared the story. And um, the the girl that I was that the homies were trying to wingman me for didn't end up going for me to go for Royce. I'm d- <laughs> oh yeah, 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 I remember that. I remember yeah. that. We but I was of, I was in a relationship. Yeah, we so met like, a lot of girls that night. So me and Mar- Mary, Mary's, and was there, Mary's had to get me out. Jessica must have been there. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. Loki. Right? That <laughs> night, that ma- Loki, you were there that Five, night. One. There was a night where like we were. It's just us three. Me, you, Royce, Rigel. I think we came early too. And then and like, we were, we were, we're trying. We were trying. We found to you and we're like, oh shit, you're here. We were trying to pull for Rigel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when that happened, Mary's like, yo, get the fuck away. Mary's got me out out of the situation. Peace. See you later. See you later. See you later. Yeah. Yeah. Without a girlfriend. I remember. See you later. See you later. See you later. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and then I don't. I don't remember how the rest went. Uh, so I ended up still pulling her number and like Snapchat and stuff. Um, but I, like I just didn't really feel like myself, and so like, mm. and plus if I were to expect that, you know, she was expecting to talk to someone else, and I'm just kind of a replacement. I didn't really like that. So, um, in terms of like me in the club, oh my gosh, like I was. Horrible. I try it, and always having the homies there always like is the best. Mm. So the best support. Um, but the only time like I did really well was probably Midnight Mondays after you just perform. Yeah. And then um, you head to the bar, and then everyone's like, "Wow, good job, good job, good job." Yeah, and people giving like, you at daps yeah. and stuff like. Yeah, random it's just people. easier to talk to. Like talk you're to a girls celebrity. <laughs> exactly, but in terms of like a house party, oh, man, I wouldn't either. I'm a DM guy, bro. You're a DM guy? I'm a DM guy. Damn. See, I'm a, I'm like an in-person, I'm an like, in-person let's, yeah. let's talk. I would never answer you. I'm a DM guy. I'm like a... But during that time, I was a DM guy. I'm like a, if it's there, it's happening I'd be, guy. I'd be reaching for some, no reason. 
like <laughs> like too much confidence type <clears throat> shit, bro. Mm. Yeah. Respect that. Yeah, you fair. can't roll in That's with too much fair. confidence. Yeah. 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 My my classic DM would be like I'd send like a random ass like video of like a dog or some shit. Yeah. I'm like, hey, Damn. like honestly, like like this is I, pretty cute. <laughs> right? I was like, yeah, it was, it was like a cute ass like video of a dog, right? I'm like, oh, I'm like, pretty cute too. What's your best DM? My best DM? <laughs> best DM? I don't have many because uh, I'm locked down. <laughs> I remember when I was on Tinder, uh, I matched with this forever. girl named Michelle. Yeah. And I was like, yo, Michelle? I wish my shell had your shell number. Oh my God. <laughs> 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 yeah, I respect it, though. <laughs> had to run it. Had your to shell run it. Right, right. Yeah, that was yeah. a good one. Yeah, I thought it off good. the top. I was like, I got her Snapchat and stuff after yeah. IG, all that. <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah. And, and then another girl. Hey, my, this is actually a funny story because I will go into my story right now. So I met this girl at the club. Her homie, or my homie's girlfriend, brought another homie. So I met her at the club. And then the girl that I met, matched with, Michelle, I ended up seeing her at the concert that I went to the girl with. Mm. Wait, what? Oh my god. Yeah. yeah, she had a yeah. date to go yeah. with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, the girl that I met. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And I was like, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, story that worked. This is a club. <clears throat> homie bought his girlfriend. Girlfriend bought another homie. Boom, vibing, chilling, right? I don't know her too well. First time I met her, right? And then what you want to do is don't buy them a drink right away. Strat. Why? Okay. Why? Do you want? Do you want a guy to buy you a drink right away? Mm-hmm. I mean, if you're at the club. But probably not. Though. Yeah, but you don't drink, so you're out of the <laughs> think question. About it, think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. You're out of the about question, Jessica. Think about it. Think about it. Ain't no mind you drink. You you're over. What a fucking glass of water. Think Whatever. About it. That shit's free. <laughs> uh, it is what it is. I got you hundred dollars. <laughs> That's it. Don't work. <laughs> that shit ice cold. Not there you go. Knows. But think about it. If you first meet a dude. Get it from a girl. <laughs> so if you first meet a dude, right? Yeah. And he pulls up and he's like, "Yo, do you want a drink?" What are you saying? Mm, sure. Yeah. Like, really? Yeah. That's crazy. Give it to my girl. <laughs> so you're just you're just gonna accept a drink before you even know the guy's no, name? No, no, no. Um, um, I mean, like you know, if they just come up to me and they're like, "Hey, let's get a drink," I'd be like, "Ah, I'm okay. I'm mm. fine. Yeah." Yeah. But if you're like, you know, <laughs> I mean. You would never explain. <laughs> she can't Actually, even talk yeah, about this. I'm like, personally, I would never. She would never. <laughs> I would never talk to anybody. <laughs> but you gotta, you. So what you gotta do is buy them a drink later after you, like, talk with them a little bit. I so you know what's going. Have on. a conversation I'm in the, the hand. Girl. Yeah. yeah. Let's get a drink. Why you want to get a drink and then and then now you want to do the small talk? It's yeah. weird. I just bought you no. a drink. Should we be like friends now? Yeah. You know what I mean? So like, you gotta get to know her first, buy the drink, and then while y'all drinking. It's cool conversation. This facts. It worked wow. for me. Hope it works for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Call in. There Let us go. know. How Send is she a voicemail. Huh? <laughs> She's. <laughs> <laughs> what? She's whatever. Okay. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> that was like before, before my relationship. Like. Gotcha. Before, before. Gotcha. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I think we're gonna wrap it up there. Right. Right. Mary's just like coughing up yeah, there. He's coughing up a lung. I'm done. <laughs> Um, we want to thank you guys for tuning in to this episode. Mm-hmm. Uh, we talked about a lot with a lot of things today, and um, always keep <laughs> giving us like uh, feedback and like topics. Like this was another yeah, yeah, episode yeah. where you guys were a huge part of that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, Mayors, where can they continue to help out? Uh, honestly, just be active on our social media. Respond to our stories. Mm-hmm. Um, share our stories, our posts, whatever. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Sweet. Yeah. yeah. And uh, where can they find you, Jessica? Um, Instagram, mm-hmm. Jessica Vega. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll have it there. We'll have it somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, just that. <laughs> don't follow my Twitter. <laughs> no TikTok? You no don't TikTok, like TikTok? No oh, TikTok. Yes, yes, yes. Same thing. Jessica Vega. But I'm really not active on TikTok. I'm trying. Mm. But you will be, though, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Royce, where else can they find us? Shop and blog TikTok. I said that the wrong way, man. <laughs> TikTok, <laughs> chopping block, <laughs> Instagram, chopping up, fam. Sweet. We want to thank you guys for tuning in always and it's always sending us love and support. Mm. Uh, we want to see you guys in the next episode of the Chopping Up Podcast.
It's your boy Rigel. It's your boy Marius Royce. Pete. It's a girl, Chess. <laughs> <laughs> it's a girl, Chess. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Chess. I, like I should have like done that in the beginning. Yeah, like, uh, communication, oh communication. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, peace. Peace. Bye. All right, guys. What are the moves? What are we doing after this? So, you mentioned the club, bro. Look, you mentioned the club. All right, I know a spot. Let's go. That's the move. So. <laughs> You backseat on my mind, I'm still so solo. My life hard to define, so I ride solo. Waiting still, my game. I-